I am currently in the baby's room. <laughs> it's all steamy. I got this super cute little diffuser. Um, I will share with you guys where when I do my nightstand um, little vlog, like what's in my nightstand. But I got this one for the baby's room and it is so cute. It was like, I think it was like 30 or $40, so cheap and literally perfect. Um, cute little wood bottom, but I'm currently diffusing some vanilla and lavender and it's my favorite. I've been doing it every night. There's just something about vanilla for me that's just mm, so good. I'm gonna hop on the bike. We Since we got our kitchen table, no room for this bike. So I need to figure it out. So currently is in Jameson's room. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm really excited because SoulCycle is doing studio streams. So if you can't make um, certain classes, you can retake the classes at a later time and they're gonna keep them up for like a week. So I love that because some of my favorite instructors, I just can't get in on that time. So if you needed a sign, this is it. Mannix is next to me on my phone. Jameson and Colin are taking a nap. I'm gonna get my workout in, and then we're gonna head to Whole Foods to pick up our groceries. Um, they didn't have any availability today for delivery, so Mannix and I are just gonna head there. Literally me right now. Like, do I wanna get my ass kicked? Or I haven't taken any of them. Or like, do I want to hang out with my soul sister? Oh, this is not easy, you guys. This is not easy, but it's gotta get done. Guys, busy morning over here planning since I got home around like five yesterday. And usually I try to do all of my planning on Sunday and it's monday so i wanted to kind of show you a little bit how i try to plan out my week um so i wrote down some dinners because we typically have the same things every day for breakfast and lunch and these are really where i try to change it up and i try to plan so this week i wanted to do like a bowl theme because i really love um bowls and i feel like Right now, I want to try to make bigger meals that are really yummy, but also can still feel fresh since I'm not like a leftovers type of girl. Thank you. Um, Mannix is my little helper. So I'm going to do some Korean beef bowls. And so I just wrote underneath um, what I need for it. A lot of these things I already have, so I don't have to worry, but... I wrote down the Korean beef bowl and then I can also turn this so I could do like a bowl one day with some um, white rice and then I can turn it into maybe the next day some lettuce wraps which would be so easy and still so different or I could use some of it to make like a stir fry. My spicy mayo that I've been making um, I showed you guys on maybe the last vlog on my tacos is just the primal kitchen mayo and some sriracha really simple maybe some salt and pepper in there too but i have a lot of these things i only wrote seasonings because i have all of the seasoning that i need um i definitely recommend building up your stash so you have all the basics invest one time have it for everything um definitely don't think i'm gonna do the fish sauce but i wrote it down just in case i decide but so easy and minimal ingredients Shrimp bowls, I have this recipe on my Instagram. It's one of my favorite things to make in the world. Colin isn't a huge fan of seafood, so I can pop it in there every now and then. Um, and I wouldn't have shrimp as leftovers. So this will be a good dinner to have like tonight so that since Colin doesn't work and it can be made fresh and he doesn't have to worry about taking it with him to work. So I wrote like the days that we're gonna have it. So Monday we'll have this since like I said, Colin's off. And then Tuesday he's off, but then on Wednesday he can bring the bowl maybe as a leftover since it's easy and, you know, we can put ice packs and he um, can do it that way in his little lunchbox. So then Thursday and Friday, um, so he'll, he works Thursday but not Friday, so I figured I can make like a sweet potato bowl. I think I'm going to try to add some, add some bacon in it. So I'm going to do sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice pinto beans some like cabbage slaw cilantro i'm gonna make my fresh pico and i'll probably get like a little avocado to throw on it um this was a dressing recipe that i found for um i forgot what kind of 
dressing but i don't know it looked really good that that goes with this um again i have all of these things i'll probably get some fresh dill but i always always have cilantro in my house and then another one that i can't decide because obviously this is too much and i don't want to overdo it i can't decide this or shrimples but these greek bowls it's this recipe is from all things healthy i want to say her name is i've made these meatballs before they are life-changing incredible so good a little bit spicy um but i love them and so you could totally do this as a bowl one day and then make a salad the next day so you can add like some like just like a chipotle bowl type thing where you have lettuce rice kalamata olives some feta chickpeas tomatoes i want to make some pickled red onion um and then a homemade tzatziki dressing which again is literally six ingredients it's um not the easiest in the world like juicing the cucumbers but i've made this before and it's so good so that's my little planning technique i love having a notebook i just buy like the five star notebooks i have this one and another one where i can just grab and write stuff down and this is how i do my best so now i'll go through the how the fridge and like storage and i'll see what i have and i'll cross it off that way i can put my online order in and then kind of move on so i just thought i'd share that with you guys manix and i i did my workout took a quick shower got ready um and manix and i just got to whole foods I like to bring the boys but um both of them but it's claustrophobic in here and the carts are so small like too small and so it's just a lot with both of them i will do it on like a maybe like a slower day for them but so i'm gonna bring manix with me he loves to do it and i think it's so important to like expose them to these things at this point um so they get used to it and they enjoy it and you know being around all of the different fresh fruits and vegetables like i was cleaning out the fridge and i was telling him i'm like we are so lucky to have these fresh fruits and fresh vegetables so let's take a moment to thank god you just don't realize you know you're so used to just having food and not everybody has the privilege of having you know fresh food you know to create and serve and eat with their family and share and so um i just always feel really grateful when i'm able to grocery shop but it's just the huge and i showed you guys like our list of what i plan to make this week hopefully it inspires you all right i'll see you in a little bit okay guys this is what we have prepared so far i have my rice going and i cut up some red onion i cut up i'm gonna mince some garlic i'm just gonna use my little mincer i have some red pepper and we're gonna cut some carrots i just have some frozen broccoli and then i have some shiitake mushrooms manix is cutting with this really amazing um knife that i got that's safe for kids on amazon and then i have some pork that i'm gonna make with like a homemade little dressing that i'm gonna make so this is what we got going i'm gonna put it in the pan soon and i'll show you guys um and i'll update you okay guys so i just finished dinner i did um i probably should have showed you but underneath all of that is some white rice use this um california jasmine rice and then on top of that, I did, I showed you guys, I sauteed all of those veggies and I made sure they were nice and crispy so I didn't overdo them. On top of the meat, I actually forgot I had this um, teriyaki sauce. I'll show you guys in a second, but use whatever teriyaki sauce that you like. Um, the one that I have is not the cleanest, but that's okay, moderation. And then I topped with some sesame seeds. And then I did a side of spicy mayo. So I just took Primal Kitchen mayo and mixed it with a little bit of sriracha. And that is dinner. And then tomorrow I can put some of this on like some tacos if I want or like a bed of um, lettuce to make like a salad type thing or just eat another one of these bowls. I have been waiting for this package for... This is a bowl. Yeah, like for what feels like forever. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's the coconut one. Okay, so this is a, Whoa, oh cute. Coconut. Look, at, you can use that if you want. Um, go parlor, it's a non-toxic, yeah, that's a roller. It's a, it's a non-toxic like Play-Doh. 
I saw on um, somebody that I follow's Instagram that they use. This is a, oh, this is probably, I don't know if this is universal cold, but you could try. I know they're doing their end of summer sale right now, um, but it is from Canada, so it did take a while to get here. Um, but they come in all different. Oh, this is cute, how to rehydrate. Directions on how to do that. Um, ooh, let me see. I want to smell it. Smell. That one's our coconut. Coconut. They gave a free coconut. So I got the six pack. I want to show you. Mommy got you dinosaurs. Um, so I got the kids a each a rolling pin. Where did the rolling pin go? I thought I got two rolling pins. No. I guess I just got one. I meant to get two. Wow, it's crazy in here right now. So I got them two dough mats which i thought was really cute so they customize them so i got manix and i got jameson look at how cool this your name look at m-a-n-n-i-x manix and then on the back they also have so many different cute little mats i might actually go back on there now that i have that little discount um and get some more but they have tons of different cute mats they have like a cloud one you can like just different like imaginative play ones oh my god you guys it's so fluffy mm, this is coconut this one sorry it's crazy over here this one was free um that they sent like free with pur purchase so that's a little roller that i got oh, good job Whoa. and then i got manix the wow dinosaur yeah let's see if you can name it hold on which one is this what about this one what about this one good job honey so i got manix the dinosaurs because you know we're dinosaur crazy over here this is their silicone um little roller for it i thought that i got two one for each so I might go order some more. Like I said, they're having their summer sale I saw. Creative play, you know? Um, so, how cute is this packaging, you guys? Like, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. So, 100% non-toxic ingredients. Um, make sure that it's focused. Biodegradable. Wow, it's a dream. It's a dream. Yeah. Calming colors. Um, rehydratable water based and BPA free. When I was doing some research on it, because I just um I'm so into you guys, it's so interesting to research everything smells so good. Research brands. Okay, let's see. Hold on, let me let mommy see. That one's let me see, let me read it. That one's chocolate. I want to smell it. We can't mix them together though. I don't want to mix them together. Each flavor is its own. So I got chocolate, banana split, cotton candy, vanilla, strawberry, and orange creamsicle. How cute, the branding, I'm obsessed. I was doing some research and the owner, let me see. The owner was a teacher and there you she go. was- There you go. Yeah. Let me smell, can mommy smell? Can I smell it? Okay, let me see. I know they're totally gonna mix these. You guys, it smells just like chocolate. Ooh, do you smell it? I love that. Um, this company is in Canada. Um, the owner, her name is Natalie, and she was a, she has four children, um, and she was a teacher, I think. I think she was a teacher. And she was always think of new, thinking of like new ways for to do like creative sensory play. And so she started to come up with her own um, recipe and wow, she kept like trying yeah, to perfect it. Um, and she would use her students and her children yeah. as like guinea pigs. And she found that it was like helping soothe like before tantrums or like kids could create with it and just get like, you know, sensory, all type of things. And doing different outlook, oh, we already got the mix. And, um, she just found they had a positive experience with the smell, with um, all the things that they were doing with it, with the colors, like she uses all pastel colors, so they're really soothing. And 
the kids just kept like requesting it and loving it and she felt like she was onto something and she totally was especially because play-doh think about that like it's touching your skin um your kids are putting their hands in their mouth and play-doh honestly smells terrible to me smells and it gets so hard so fast um and again i love supporting small businesses dreams um i should be putting all the garbage in here this one is vanilla mm, and it's so soft and like so good Mmm, cotton candy. So good, right? Cotton candy. Here, use the rolling pin. Roll it. Mannix loves to be in the kitchen, too, so I felt like this was so cute. Oh, no. Um, roll it? Okay. Ugh, you gotta use your abs. Cute. She has all of the ingredients listed on the website. It's like a nothing in this one it's a handful of ingredients um we have i i remember looking it was like five ingredients but they don't use anything toxic at all in it it's so um soft and like they have free shipping over 75 dollars which i feel like is totally worth it because um i know that's crazy like 75 dollars on play-doh but if you get like the mats which is a one-time thing you get the little rolling pin you get some cutouts and i honestly didn't mind waiting because i think we're so i keep saying this like every vlog but i think it's so important i've just realized oh, you love that how your kids will eat play-doh but won't lick a piece of broccoli um so i didn't mind waiting because number one covid number two is from canada um and number three i want to support small owned businesses so i've been trying to order directly from the businesses i think it's so important and you're and you're supporting somebody's dream and i think it's so important that's something that i want my kids to understand so website was so interesting there was so much good information like i remember them talking about like the impact that colors have on you know making people feel which i know i learned um in college that like yellow is like a happy color that you can use um and that smells good it smells like totally like pineapple-ish um roll it out you you gotta try to use both hands yeah there you go good job um and i just thought it would be such a good little activity if you have little kids um, you know that you're always trying to you know my kids play so well on their own and you know self-led play they're totally cool with that but this is just something to like that's interesting another activity that will add in our morning routine um, and it just gets that those creative juices well, going good job honey what about all those animals that we have and again like I'm just over the gross regular play-doh um so definitely check them out i will got, let you guys know how it holds up but so far like <gasps> look at this wow good job putting it away 10 out of 10 experience oh my god the banana 15 percent off your next purchase with code summer 2021 expires august 31st you have the whole month to do it um how to rehydrate me wet hands with warm water massage dough for two to three minutes Seal dough in a tub and leave overnight. Happy squishy dough. Thank you so much for ordering our non-toxic Play-Doh. Our dough is made, our dough is made in small batches from fresh natural ingredients that contain no harsh or artificial preservatives. Our dough is not edible, so resist the urge. It's pretty salty. So that's kind of good if your kids try it, like it's salty. Um, after opening, be sure to seal our dough back in its tub and store it in a cool place. Our dough is 100% compostable and biodegradable. We'd love to hear from you. Tag us in your moments of play and we'll reshare on Instagram. So I'm definitely gonna go do that. I'm so excited for this. You guys, this is mom life, get ready for it. Um, because it's the little things in life. So we're gonna go play some Play-Doh. You like it? Oh, the orange cream's cold. The strawberry is good. The orange cream's cold in the strawberry, but the coconut is also so yummy. Are you ready to play? Oh. High five. High five for the win. Okay, he's leaving me hanging. Okay, guys, check it out. Dough Parlor, they're on Instagram. Check out their website um, and get inspired.